walk up to her while she's talking with her friends, without me saying anything, before I even got within ten goddamn feet of her, she turned around. Ew. No. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? Go, just go. What did I Hello friends and welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily cringe content anywhere on the internet. Promise swearsies, it's just a fact. And it's totally science, go ahead, look it up. Thanks so much, we're getting some of that good old 4chan green text cringe today. There's some real terrible ones out there, we gotta go a little bit light on the gas, okay? I'm, I'm trying to feel out these new YouTube policies. But it should still be a pretty good time, so let's roll on through and see what we've got here. From Ravond 1X, 10 US dollars. Hey, you getting mad? I'm getting rich. <laughs> hey, Gargura, Hollow Life, how, how are you today? Just drop a 10 bits for you. Dude, those are not bits. That's, that's a thousand bits, isn't it? <laughs> I've to go. Because my military camp is under attack. My commanding officer has just called me, so yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> be soldier. Be in military camp. Enemy airstrike is coming in. Panic! Uh, send $10 to a virtual lolly. Yeah, that, that's rational. <laughs> Why not? Okay, have a good time, Ravon. I, I hope you survive. <laughs> Go eat at local pizza place. Eat entire large pepperoni pizza. Still hungry. Too embarrassed to order more, cause cutie cashier will think I'm a fat ass. I mean, <laughs> aren't you sort of? <laughs> uh, what do you look like? I'm a large man, but I ain't out here demolishing large pizzas by myself. <laughs> uh, but I will try. So what did you do at that point, Anon, to make yourself not hungry anymore? Well, I pretended to get a call from a friend. Oh, fake phone call cringe. <laughs> Stage an entire three-minute conversation. End call, asking him if he wants anything from the pizza place. Order another pizza to go for my friend. Proceed to devour the pizza in my car. Cashier walks up to my car with my backpack. Sees I'm halfway done with my friend's pizza. You forgot your backpack. I smile and nod with my mouth full. She fucking giggles and walks away. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty funny. <laughs> that bitch, I've never been this embarrassed in my life. I can never go back there. Honestly, I'm surprised that you can feel any sort of shame at this point. <laughs> I mean, it's all right, like, that's that's good. That's a good emotion. Hold on to that. Maybe make some changes in your life. Story time! Working at McDonald's. Autistic kid appears. Screams all the time. <laughs> Want a happy meal with nuggets? So I gave him five instead of four because of my kindness. He noticed. Autistic screeching. <laughs> he wanted a new one with only four nuggets. God, I hate children. Yeah, don't just take the nugget out either. I want fresh ones. <laughs> uh, children and Karens. That's about it. Dad is shaving. Don't touch it, Anon. It's sharp. It will cut your finger. Dad leaves. Is that true? Must test hypothesis. Climb on the counter. Test razor with finger. Cut finger. Ah. Hypothesis confirmed. <laughs> One must suffer in pursuit of science. Yes, indeed, trace amounts. Usually it's cute little puppies or monkeys that have to suffer, but sometimes humans do suffer too in pursuit of science. It's all for science. How can we grow the knowledge database if we don't sacrifice some people, you know? Bibi, order food from DoorDash. It says it will take 20 minutes. Hard AF. It's been two hours now, what the hell? So I look outside to see a trail of blood and a collapsed body. I look down the street and see a horrific car crash. The driver crashed and in his final moments brought me my food. 
Still rated one star for being late and leaving his trash body in my driveway. <laughs> You're horrible. You're an irredeemable monster. Uh, oh, now he's going to get fired. Good for the driver, honestly. He doesn't have to worry about nothing no more. Feels good, man. Or, I presume. Finish uni amidst COVID. Enter the family business. Can't take it working and living with my dad anymore. He's too demanding and just an absolute dick sometimes when I'm off the clock. I move into Grandpa's house while he's away at his girlfriend's. Grandpa's wife, my grandmother, died suddenly of brain cancer last year. I'm happy for him, though. His girlfriend is incredibly nice and respectful, takes great care of him, and likes me a lot. I moved into his place tonight. I'm putting my clothes away in the spare bedroom, and I find a Build-A-Bear in the closet. Curiously, I pick it up. Click the paw to hear the audio. It's my grandma's voice, singing a French lullaby she used to sing to me while scratching my back before I'd go to bed at her house. <sighs> I was over her death fairly easily. I didn't cry at the funeral. I was the rock of my family. Death is an inevitable part of life. I came to those terms long ago, but this completely destroyed my night. I'm sobbing like a moron just because of this dumb bear. I miss her, bros. I love that for you, honestly. She lives on through this bear, a memory that you guys used to share. It is okay to miss her, but rather than, you know, feeling what you're lacking, just, just be grateful for the parts where she was there. That one sort of came out of left field, but uh, I guess we're keeping it on brand with the next one. <laughs> Grandfather died before I was born. Grandma lived a state away. Never got to experience growing up with grandparents. That does suck, dude. Grandparents are like the best. <laughs> All right. I love you. I love you too, little shit. <laughs> uh, eventually move out on my own. My neighbors are an old couple. Start getting to know them better. Spend my days off with them. Cook meals with the wife, share recipes, husband helps me with hobby projects, and we work on our cars together. Feels like I finally have grandparents. Leaving for work today, talk with the husband before I leave. Hey, you have a good day at work. Uh, I love you, buddy. Love you too, Grandpa. My face when. Oh, just the purest sort of joy. A connection with another human being! It can be the most beautiful thing in the world, as long as that person's worth connecting with, and I'm glad these neighbors are. Me personally, I'm not getting to know my neighbors, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I got grandparents, I don't need you. <laughs> uh, oh man. Be me, B12, playing Minecraft. The software my mom and dad put on the computer is going to kick me off it in about 30 minutes. Mom and dad are fighting. The timer is running out. They are still fighting. I'm not having any fun. I need to have fun now! I'm running out of time! Mom and Dad are still fighting. I need to have fun now before I run out of time! Ten minutes left on the timer. Mom and Dad are still fighting! <laughs> Five minutes left! I'm not done yet! I didn't have any fun today! <laughs> Uh, uh, that feels relatable. I'm not ready to get off. Mom and Dad are still fighting. The timer finishes. It kicks me out of my account. I don't know the admin password. Mom and Dad still fighting. Sit in room alone. I can hear Mom and Dad fighting upstairs. Cry because I'm not allowed more time on the computer. <laughs> not because your parents are crying. This kid's got his priorities straight. <laughs> Uh, tomorrow is Monday. I can't play computer on school days. Mom and Dad are still fighting. Cry. Sounds to me like you need to invest in some noise-canceling headphones. <laughs> Put on my noise-canceling headphones. Leaves me alone with nothing but my thoughts. <laughs> or some divorce paperwork. I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, work night shift. On lunch break at 4 a.m. God, night shift is just the worst. Like, it's cool, but it's really not. <laughs> Sitting in a dark parking lot, in a car, with the windows rolled down. Hear footsteps approaching. See man appear from the darkness. He looks around, doesn't notice me. He pulls down his pants and starts taking a shit. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I'm just watching this guy poop it outside while I eat my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I love this story. Uh, he is struggling. Constipated.jpg. I sneeze. 
He gets startled and looks in my direction. <gasps> Spotted.png! We look at each other for a minute. I break the awkward silence. Nice asshole, bro. <laughs> Thanks. Got any paper towels? I hand him some napkins and I quickly drive off. I have to find another parking lot now because this one is tainted. Dude, I thought you were at work. You just drive away from work? I guess it's fine. You eat somewhere else and you come back. But you're still going to know that that poop is there in the bushes, waiting, lurking right by your car. And also, I'm glad that telling him he had a nice asshole didn't get you stabbed. That's fortunate. <laughs> uh, green techs are dumb as hell, but screw it. I got a story to tell. I mean, green techs are dumb, but that's why they're beautiful. Anyway, LP says, me at college, B at library, looking for some books. See a girl sitting at a random table. She is fucking adorable. Dark hair, mesmerizing green eyes. Not the most confident guy, but I think, screw it. I'll give it a try. I walk up to her and say a cheesy pickup line. She doesn't respond. Excuse me. She notices me and looks up at me. She does something in sign language. Turns out she's deaf. Excuse myself and turn around, defeated. Way too embarrassed to try and keep the conversation going. Stop myself halfway out of the library. Gather up all my courage and walk back. Sit down next to her and write, You're cute. You want to go out on a sticky note? She reads it and looks at me. I smile like a dumbass while she looks me over. <laughs> yeah, you gotta inspect the goods. Do I want to go out with you? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. You don't go on weird websites like 4chan, do you? <laughs> you just keep that part under your hat. It's fine. Uh, she eventually nods and scribbles her number on the note. Her name is Alice. We go out that Friday and we have a wonderful time. Fast forward to a few months later, we're officially dating. I learned sign language for her and I'm getting pretty good at it. The first thing I learned to sign was, I love you. Yeah, how long you been going out? That might be a little bit too much too soon, but <laughs> okay. Maybe it's taken differently culturally in sign language. I don't know. Fast forward again to yesterday. Today is the day. You can't really fast forward to yesterday. You'd have to rewind to yesterday and s then say today is the day. You want to know why green texts are dumb as hell? Shit like that. That's why. <laughs> anyway, Anon, her mom, brother, and me are sitting in the doctor's office. They gradually turn up her implant. She starts crying because she hears her mom for the first time. I remain silent. Her mom and brother are all talking to her, crying all the while. Eventually, she looks to me. I move closer to her, tell her something that I wanted to say from the day that I met her in the library. I love you. Please marry me. Well, that seems like a heavy case of limmer inside. <laughs> like, just from looking at her, you're like, we're gonna get married for sure. <laughs> seems a little weird, I don't know. She said yes. I made the greatest day of her life just a little bit better. I love her so much. Part of me hopes it's true. You know, that would really warm my heart. But the other part of me says, eh, it's 4chan. <laughs> cool story, bro. <laughs> Walking girl down path to her house holding hands. She lets go of my hands. Anon, I think we need to go further than this. Yeah, well, how else are we going to get to your house? Oh, she was talking about intercourse. <laughs> Holy shit, Anon. Literally, how? I don't know, it depends on the age range, I guess. <laughs> uh, there was a, a time that I wouldn't have considered that at all. Wasn't that long ago, actually. I'm still somewhat of a, an innocent fellow, despite the internet's best efforts. <laughs> uh, 4chan, I blame you. Be me, 17, just got my license. Home alone, I want Mickey D's. So I drive in my mom's minivan. 4chan has been daily browsing for me at this point. Ah, uh, see, there's your problem. <laughs> I drive through. I say, uh, yeah. Uh, can I get a 10 piece of some chicken tendies? The fuck did I just say? Dot .exe has been executed. The drive through dude says, Sure, Anon. One of us. Dot .jpg. <laughs> drive to the window. Embarrassed as hell. Guy's 20-something and says, You seem chill. And passes me a note with his Twitter. DM him, now best friends. Yeah, I blame you too, I guess. You're welcome. What is this? 
Oh well, who cares? You got tendies, that's the most important part. <laughs> Driving. Notice shirt is inside out. Pull into a parking lot to correct it. Fix shirt. Guy pulls up. Hey, nice tits. Hands me a $10 bill. My face when I'm a guy. <laughs> I mean, 10 bucks is 10 bucks, right? I'd prefer if it didn't have to go this way, but <laughs> I don't know, man. I think we have to be more conscious and accepting of how our bodies actually look. That's not a dagger through the heart. Somebody just pointed out what is essentially a fact about yourself. <laughs> and he also gave you money to go with it, so I don't know. Maybe it's actually a pretty good day, if we can come to grips with our own reality. Anyway, <laughs> neighbor puts house up for sale. Grow out grass and throw trash on the lawn. Buy a shitty car and leave it on blocks in the driveway. Buy neighbor's house for a steal. Cut grass, clean up trash, scrap car, sell neighbor's house. My face went 40% profit. Yeah, where'd the seed money for that come from, Anon? He bought some Bitcoin back in the day, didn't he? <laughs> and technically, I don't think this is illegal. Legally, you're fine. Morally, you're fucked. <laughs> How do I become an alpha male? Jim, eat right. Save money. Change your style. Have confidence. Well, I mean, <laughs> he's not wrong. Nobody does all of these things perfectly okay. But it's like that poster that we all had in elementary school. It's like, reach for the moon and you'll land amongst the stars. Because there's no friction in space. Your frozen body will just fly off into the next galaxy. <laughs> what? No, no, all right. I know that sounds bad. <laughs> Be me. 20-year-old student doing little computer repairs for money. Get call from a friend working at a warehouse. Anon, there's this huge pile of laptops that has to be thrown away. I asked my boss if I could take them, and he said yes. Yeah, he's going to save you the electronics recycling fee. <laughs> they seem pretty decent. Come and see some of them. Maybe you could earn quite some money off it. I see pictures. Lots of ThinkPad T440. Eh, why not? Not JPEG. Go to friend's house, inspect the laptops. Most of them have problems, but some do work fine. I load them up in my car and head back home. An asshole jumps a red light and T-bones the back of my car. I don't think that's where T-bones happen, but okay. <laughs> Police come see dash cam footage and says this asshole was at fault. Oh, you got dash cam footage on the back? That's interesting too. <laughs> Submit insurance compensation. Malicious idea, Dutch gif. Put all 50 laptops into compensation. My face when I receive $30,000 in compensation for mostly broken laptops. Eh, a little bit of friendly insurance fraud. Nobody has to know. And then Anon posted this on 4chan and promptly went to jail. <laughs> Oops. Doesn't matter. It's all a lie anyways, okay? That feel when mom found the protein condoms. The... The what? <laughs> what the hell is even that? Mom thinks whey is drugs. So my brother and I hide protein in the toilet water tank inside of condoms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, now it looks even more like heroin. Have you considered having a conversation with your mother? I'm sure she's a maniac. She raised the kid who spends his time on 4chan, what do you want? <laughs> Uh, me, me. Sophomore year in college. Periodically shit in the top tank of toilets at fraternity and sorority houses during parties. Word spreading around campus about a serial shitter. Wait, so that's been you at UVA? <laughs> uh, yeah, the poop and bandit returns. I get knocked down, but I get up again. <laughs> Minecraft was released 10 years ago. 2011 was 10 years ago. The last Naruto episode was four years ago. Bitcoin Jumpstart, 11 years ago. I was young 10 years ago. I had friends 10 years ago. Parents were healthy 10 years ago. Gramps was still alive 10 years ago. The world was so beautiful and, and brimming with life 10 years ago. Give me my time back! That's not how it works, dude. You already spent it. And where'd you spend it? Here. Now you're complaining about being here while you're still here. Maybe take a little vacation from the chans, you know? Go outside. It's not all bad. The sun ain't so scary. You could go out in the evenings, like me. <laughs> evenings only. Stopped wearing retainer for two weeks. Teeth shifted back and can no longer fit retainer. 
two years of progress undone in two weeks. Two years of progress undone in two weeks? Yeah, that's life. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? You go to the gym, get all these gains, then you get sick. Okay, I guess we're starting back from zero. <laughs> but you just keep doing it, because you don't know what else to do at this point. Did we learn any lessons from this? Probably not. <laughs> He's like, I don't like my retainer, what? BB, order Chinese food. Cutie pie works there. Dark brown hair. Big ol' bazooms. Petite build. Great. But, uh, I go to pick up my food. She rings up my order and hands it to me. Uh, I wish I could bang your brains out, dot move. Uh, say thank you and leave. Go home and start eating the food. Notice a long-ass dark brown hair in the food. Eat the hair anyway. <laughs> I basically had a girl inside me. <laughs> Later, virgins. I mean, did you take a look into the back? It's probably some metal dude with, like, <laughs> a ponytail. Isn't it fun, the lies we tell ourselves? Is that an autistic moments thread? Because that looks like an autistic moments thread. <laughs> Can we have a nice, old-fashioned thread of weird-slash-cringeworthy shit you did when you were younger? Be me, 15, in school. It's lunchtime. Crowds of people about. I'd played Assassin's Creed the night before, and done that thing where you hold a button to quickly move through crowds, walk into a group of guys in my year, do the animation of pushing through, <laughs> put my hand on one of their backs and push gently. Immediately he turns around. What's this guy's problem? <laughs> Everyone laughs. I quietly walk away with a stern look on my face, just like an assassin. Oh, you were just born in the wrong time, that's all that is. I think that's what Assassin's Creed about. I, I don't know, I don't play those games really. Maybe I'm missing out, but I only got so much time on this earth and I ain't gonna spend it playing games from Ubisoft. Except Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> uh, breathing on purpose. Be me. Recalled from science class that breathing is involuntary. Decide to do an experiment. Think about breathing. Try not to breathe. Works. Try to breathe. Works. Mmm, I am in control now. <laughs> Forget how to re-engage automatic breathing. Cannot breathe unless consciously thinking about it. Inhale, exhale. This is my life now. My face when. Dude, that is <laughs> honestly a horrifying nightmare you've described. I hate basically every single part of that. Much like I hate every single part of our next post. Wake up. Check phone. Accidentally open camera. See face. Day. Ruined. Anyone else know this feel? <laughs> More than you know. We're not gonna go there. Alright boys, here's a quick story about the time one of my dearest friends almost died. Be me, 17, play Team Fortress 2 a lot. One day, meet another guy, about 21 or so. We start calling this annoying kid derogatory names in chat until he leaves. Laugh a lot, and then become friends. Didn't expect it to last, as all Team Fortress 2 friendships are basically casual mode, but things keep going. He messages me every day, and we eventually trade Instagrams. I know, I messed up right there. Uh, did you? There's a continuation to the thread. Turns out he's actually 22. Reverse search pictures, no results, so this guy seems legit. You can probably see where this is going. Everything goes fine for about a year or so. We talk a lot and become great friends. Tells me about how he got a trad girlfriend and was planning on having kids and everything. It was all going well for him. He sent me some money at one point to help me fund my studies. At some point I realized that, yeah, this guy is pretty rich. I ask him how he got so rich at such a young age. He's reluctant. I keep asking, but he dodges the question. Tells me all about how he likes to iron naked in front of the TV because, I don't know, fuck all. I remember that in particular because it made me laugh my ass off. Eventually I go to uni, and this guy wants to fund everything. I tell him that I really don't want free money. It makes me feel bad, but I needed a roommate to help me pay for an apartment. Out of the blue, he offers up himself. Oh cool, yeah, move in with the naked ironing guy. Surely that's gonna go great. <laughs> I'm not even surprised. This is the kind of shit he does. I say, what the hell? Okay, let's do it. Tell him about my apartment on Friday. He comes on Sunday. 
our first time meeting in person. Open the door. The dude is like six foot three, super fit, wearing a Hawaiian shirt, shorts, and a huge smile on his face. Doesn't look like Neckbeard. Doesn't smell like Neckbeard. <laughs> I'm very confused. Anon! I hug him. We'd waited for the day that we could meet for years. We never really could because of, uh, complications. This is gonna end up being one of those gay things, isn't it, Anon? <laughs> Just spoil it for me right now. The guy brings with him his iron. Immediately recall that I still don't know what he does for a job. Eventually he gives in and tells me he works as a hitman. A fucking hitman. <laughs> Fake. <laughs> I don't believe him at first. He shows me his computer and photos he has in his phone for some reason. Beautiful house, illegal guns, 9 out of 10 cutie pie. This guy is fucking amazing. I help him unpack his things. At one point, I ask him about other hitmen. He tells me that actually it's fairly common for hitmen to hunt each other. Something to do with competition, or sometimes to do with contracts, and sometimes it's just plain old revenge. Well, this plot's really starting to heat up, isn't it? <laughs> he tells me that they actually tried to kill him multiple times, but he always came out on top. He also tells me that I might have to hide him because he believes a guy named The Ranger is looking for him. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> My face when. Ask him why he came here then. Tells me it was just a slight suspicion. Plus, he was well covered and he really did want to meet me. Well, I'm no wuss and I love risky things. So I just answered with risky things. Fast forward a couple days, just got out of school. Three missed calls from friend. I call him back and he answers yelling. They found him. I hear gunshots through the call. He tells me that he's having a shootout inside my apartment with the guy. Automatically connect to a smart TV that has the function of a camera. <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> See everything. Fat guy, about 40, behind the counter. See friend grab the iron and he throws it at the fat guy. The iron was hot because friend was ironing. Remember when he told me about his hobby? <laughs> See, it all loops back around, doesn't it? <laughs> I look down and see him completely naked. He's having a shootout, naked, inside my apartment. Iron lands on the fat guy's leg and burns the shit out of him and sticks. Friend tells me not to worry. 20 men had tried to kill him. 20 men had made a slip. 21 would be the ranger with a big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. <laughs> Pick related. <laughs> you know what? We went a really long way, but eventually it got there. Fine. <laughs> I'll allow it. I knew exactly where it was going when the ranger was mentioned, because they just kept mentioning the iron. It seemed really out of place, and then, yeah, it all clicked. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I know where this is going. I generally like this kind of green text to ruse me a little bit more, but uh, you tried. You tried, and that's what's most important. Hey, how about a high school rejection thread? <laughs> Wonderful. Be me. Like five years ago, senior in high school, fat piece of crap with very few friends. It's prom season. Chads are asking their girlfriends to prom with the posters and the balloons and all that shit. Yeah, you know the drill. Prom's like a week away and I have fucking nobody to go with. Parents really want me to go, so I try and find a date. One girl that I was friendly enough with was in my last class of the day. Walk up to her while she's talking with her friends. Without me saying anything, before I even got within ten goddamn feet of her, she turned around. Ew. No. <laughs> what did I do? Go, just go! What did I- uh, Brutal. <laughs> About what I expected, dot JPEG. Go home and cry. On prom night, I hang out at Chick-fil-A in my suit for like five hours. Go home and say that I was at prom. <sighs> Fuck high school, man. <laughs> Absolutely. Nailed it down. I agree 100%. At least you didn't have to take your cousin or something like that. Nobody has to know about your secret shame. You bury it deep down in there and it's all gonna be fine, probably. This next one? It might not be fine. Let's see. <laughs> be me. Get VR headset. Download VR chat. Get a Counter-Strike terrorist avatar, 
Go in furry and weeb servers and LARP as a Muslim or jihadist. <laughs> get called out a couple of times for not being Muslim. So I watch some videos on Islam, learn a bit of basic Arabic, listen to some Muslim music, also read Quran so I could recite various passages. Pretty good read, honestly. My jihad LARPing abilities improve quite a bit. Eventually, I visit the local mosque. People there are very welcoming. Experience was quite calming and I felt really good afterwards. I want to go back again this week. What's going on, guys? My parents aren't religious, and I've been an atheist my whole life. Uh, what do I do? You do the thing that you feel you should do. <laughs> it's kind of interesting, isn't it? This whole free will thing. My whole journey into checking the Mormon church came from Joshua Graham, you know, from Fallout New Vegas. He's a new Canaanite. It's like, oh, well, what's this religion all about? What do they actually believe? Well, it turns out quite a lot of different things from what I believe, I think, but, uh... <laughs> Uh, that, that's the cool part. You can find the religion that fits you. Or make your own up. Who cares? It's your life. Live it to the fullest. How about that? I don't know why I even answer, honestly. You know it's just a troll post trying to stir up some anti-sentiments. But whatever, I don't have time to unpack it. We're moving on. <laughs> 21 years of my mom taking me to doctors, trying to figure out what's wrong with me. <laughs> Keeps hinting to doctors that I have autism. Keeps trying to show me movies and books with autistic people in them to get me to understand that I'm autistic. Sends me to school for autists and learning disabled. Doctor diagnoses me with PTSD. Mom gets diagnosed with autism. Anyone else know this feel? <laughs> ah, the old switcheroo. Nice plot twist. <laughs> uh, I mean, did you have PTSD for being raised by an aut autistic parent? Is that what's happening to my kids right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they're fine. They're fine. Mostly. I don't know. They'll make it. <laughs> <laughs> Be me. Go out drinking with the boys. Get super drunk. Wake up in someone else's bed. I'm party demon. Whoa. Look over and see seven out of ten girl. Find my clothes with phone in pocket. Check messages. Seven missed calls from dad. Four from mom. Text from the boys asking where I'm at. Most recent message was sent to Black Uncle. I called him the N-word for no reason. <laughs> my face when my parents think I'm kidnapped, my boys think I'm dead, and my uncle thinks I'm a racist. Uh, what do I do, Anons? Stop drinking. I don't know. Or keep drinking. Seems to have worked out in at least one instance. 7 out of 10 in the cold light of day? That's, that's definitely a 10 out of 10 in the clubs with the lights off, alright? Good on you for pulling. I'm sure this story isn't fake at all. <laughs> uh, be me, two years ago. Heavy addiction problem, buying meth. Oh, that's not a good choice to make. <laughs> Stop it, get some help. Meth plug cooks his own stuff and is constantly on it. Always meet in a dark alley on Friday at 11 p.m. I mean, if you could stretch it out for a whole week, your addiction problem probably ain't that bad. <laughs> Uh, or you're buying a whole lot. I don't know what the truth is. He walks up to me, but he doesn't look me in the eyes. Uh, he doesn't recognize me, and he begins saying random words. I knew the guy for three years and didn't see him sober once. Well, fuck, he had finally lost it. Uh, who are you? Where are we? I'm, uh, a non. I'm here for a pickup. Uh, don't lie to me. Give me your phone, policeman. Turn around and start walking away. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you. And the guy pulls out a fucking gun. What's happening? Give me your food, policeman! <laughs> oh yes, the erratic behavior of meth heads. Live and on camera. I give him my phone and ask to leave. He asks me to unlock the phone, so I unlock it. He then takes his phone opens my settings on my phone, and takes a picture of my settings with his phone. You think I need your phone? Fuck your phone! He throws my phone on the ground. Protective glass breaks into pieces. He thinks that he broke my phone. Pick your broken phone up, you wuss! I pick my phone up and run away. Spend $30 on a new protective glass and never do crystal again in my life. Thank you so much, fried meth dealer. <laughs> Dude, it's the universe peeling back, giving you a glimpse into your future for just a second. If that's what it took to get you nice and sober, I'm glad. I'm glad it happened. 
In my younger years, I used to buy a lot of LSD from a fellow named Ryan, and Ryan was on it not all the time, but quite a lot. <laughs> and yeah, eventually he lost it. He had like a, a dream apartment, arcade cabinets and all this stuff, but it was all paid for with drug money, you see? And that type of stuff, well, it, it never seems to last very long. You gotta build it up the right way if you're gonna bother doing it. So yeah, I hope he pulled himself back together, but I don't know. After you hit it one too many times, you do become permanently fried and, and there's no going back. Scary as hell. I need to get myself off the stuff! <laughs> <laughs> Not the stuff like what they're talking about, but just all the stuff, you know? <laughs> uh, be me! In uni, have to take Spanish class to fulfill some requirement. Part of our grade is a spoken portion that consists of all of us sitting down and the teacher asking us questions and us answering them in front of the class. Already kind of screwed up on this before and my grade's pretty crap in class. I need to do better this time around. Professor asked me several questions and eventually asked me to describe my girlfriend or make up stuff if I don't have one, which I obviously don't. <laughs> I blank a little. Mi novio es de Argentina. Mi novio tiene 20 años. A mi novio le gusta escuchar música. Professor responds, that's good, Anon, but I think you mean mi novia. Realize that I forgot to properly gender the words. Realize that I still need a good grade in this class, and I respond, uh, no, uh, I meant to say that. <laughs> Get an A in that sleeping portion. Obviously, gay kid asked to hang out after class. My face when Spanish made me gay. Yeah, but only in this theoretical reality where you made up a, a connection with another human being. It's probably fine. You're gonna be fine. Nobody bats an eye. Gay? That's vanilla these days, I guess. Nobody's even gonna remember. It, it's so passe. <laughs> uh, B10, waiting in line with mom. Hold on, I, I forgot to get something. Stay in line. Line gets closer to the front. Mom's still not back yet. <sighs> oh, fuck, please don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's quite a relatable feeling, isn't it? Luckily, now that I'm an adult and wifey's like, I gotta go get bread, and she runs off into the store, you, you just talk to the cashier. <laughs> hey, how's it going? I bought a lot of pickles. <laughs> <laughs> I really like pickles. And then you just go on and on about how pickles are practically a superfood. Things get more and more tense and awkward. And that's really the type of energy that I thrive off of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I could make you uncomfortable today with my pickle talk. Goodbye, cashier. Stepmom, moving stuff in the house. Shelf falls over and traps her arm. She yells for my help. Anon, please help me. I I'm stuck. I know exactly where this is going. Whip my dick out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh. <laughs> She yells, what the hell? My dad walks in and flips out. They call the cops. I get arrested. What the fuck, bang bros? Y you lied to me. Yep, sure enough, tale as old as time. <laughs> Be me. I want to talk about some politics. I go to poll. Jewish people and minorities are the cause of the world's issues. What the hell? Go to Twitter. All white people are inherently racist and homophobic. What the hell? That's not true. Go to Reddit. Communism has never failed! Have you people taken a single history class? Go to Facebook. If I see another sheep wearing a mask, I'm gonna gun him down. Huh? What happened to normal political views? <laughs> I told you, dude, that's all out the window. This is what we do now! Online, so pick the group that you're with. <laughs> There's no other option, you have to pick a group. <laughs> Uh, it is really weird that people uh, line up along the, the super hard lines and refuse to interact with anybody else. I don't know, I hate it a lot. At least YouTube's like a little bit different. You can sort of get into the idiosyncrasies or whatever. But I think the true secret is that people need to be willing to put aside their ego and be like, Oh, I was wrong, or, or you told me something that I hadn't considered before. Without it being like an L and oh, now you can never show your face again. So what, dude? People take L's all the time. Fucking, <laughs> it's part of life, you know? 
But everybody wants to save face. Everybody's gotta keep doubling down. And then you double down on the double down. You go to KFC, you buy a double down, you eat a double down while you're doubling down. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying, don't you? So yes, what happened to normal political views? That. Exactly that, all that I said. I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, like, comment, sub, uh, click links in the description. Teespring Amazon affiliate, uh, my Patreon, yes, thank you so much to my YouTube members, my Patreon patrons, you guys are beautiful, more super secret member videos coming on Sunday, after the live stream, I hope you look forward to that, on the end card I got more green text, and they're good ones too, there's also a super secret green text episode that's public on Patreon, it's about wiener inspection day, and YouTube didn't like it none too much, so <laughs> it's free over there if you want to watch it. Always remember, friends, that you are loved, you are worthy, you definitely, definitely deserve it, and I shall see you in the next one, so until then, bye-bye. Go ahead and cut him open. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine!